Hello ladies and gentlemen out in YouTube land and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joking Scarecrow with a K not a C and today we are going to continue our franchise mode for the San Francisco Crows in NHL 20. I would first like to apologize that there was not a third video last week. Unfortunately there were just a lot of things going on that were out of my control. I mean it's just it is what it is sometimes in life. But we're back. We're ready to go, and I'm very excited for this. And if you haven't seen the first two videos that are on the channel, the link will be down in the description below. And also, as always, like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends and family. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. As you can see on the screen, we've simulated a few more games into the season with the San Francisco Crows. We are 9-10-2, which isn't the greatest record, but in our last 10, we are 6-3-1. Something that is, well, it's promising for this team because they did go on quite a losing streak after our last video. During the game simulation, there were a few things that happened. We had a few trade proposals from different teams, nothing major. Um, except for one from the Calgary Flames, and eh, I checked the stats and it really wasn't worth it. Let's get into the next game as we are heading to Detroit, Michigan, the Little Caesars Arena here against the Detroit Red Wings, who have almost the same kind of record that we do, except their last 10 is flipped and they are only 3-7. and seven. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan, as we settle in here for this game between the Detroit Red Wings and the visiting San Francisco Crows. Braden Holtby in net for the visiting Crows, and Robin Lehner, who came over from the Chicago Blackhawks, now playing for the Red and Whites. Face off one, and this is picked up by Montha. Montha passes it across ice to Dylan Larkin. Larkin down into the corner, gets it out in front, and a kick save by Holtby. Rebound, but that goes off a body in front of the net. Darren Helm now. Over to Brody. Brody up top, one-timer into the glove of Holpe. The Detroit Red Wings still have a great sellout crowd even though their record right now is below 500. Helm looking across, gets it right back real quick, takes the shot that goes off the blocker of Holpe. And now Nichushkin brings it out for San Francisco. Looking back, a stone comes in over the blue line, a slap shot and a great save by Lehner. Nielsen right in front of the net, oh empty net! Over. Big check into the boards, but he did get the pass off. And he is getting up slow. I didn't get the name on that. That was a solid check right in the neutral zone. Rasmussen now doing a little cycle. Fabry takes it over to the other side. Rasmussen to Muzzin. Green. Fabry with a shot. Barely misses the post. Hall to Krug. Hayes now. Jericho with a shot that goes off the pads of Lehner and bounces out to the half wall to the right. One timer in front of the net and Lehner comes up big. And out to come the Red Wings. A big deke and a nice pass over but Holpe stands his ground. And now it's time for the stats. After the first period of play the Detroit Red Wings had seven shots to San Francisco's five. Crows, though, lead the hits category 3-1. to one. Time on attack. Detroit had a commanding lead. 3 minutes and 41 seconds total. And San Francisco only had 1 minute and 20 seconds. Detroit also was leading in face-offs 4-1. Only a few opportunities in that first period for each side, but both goalies have been stellar so far. Burns getting that up. I have follow now. He'll try to take it over in the corner, one-timer, and that goes into the chest of Robin Lehner, and he will save this one for a face-off. That is knocked out of the passing lane by the Red Wings. One-timer, and that one floats towards Holpe's glove. Crew gives it away to Helm, a quick shot, goes off the blocker of Holpe. Passing it to Fabry. Both teams trying to make a few line changes. Looking out in front of the net, and a great defensive save by the Crows. Here's a three-on-two, possibly, as Devin Shore gets the pass. Shore to Trotman, back down to Shore. Felino in the slot, tried to pass that to Claire, and that was knocked away. Felino shoots, he scores! Just like that, Felino barely 
Yankees a wrist shot pass later. San Francisco is up one to nothing. Solid execution by Felino as he makes no mistake at getting that by Laner's blocker side. Bertuzzi will go back towards his own blue line and pass it up to Montha. Montha with a wrist shot. Kick save by Holpe with the pad. He did it not once, but twice. Here's a 2-1 opportunity, but it's passed back to the defense, and that's Trotman, and he is hooked on the play. Detroit is going to lose a man. Lazar got a pass over, being pressured. Was sure. Darren Helm intercepts this one. Over to Nielsen. Brody with a shot. That one goes off the blocker of Braden Holpe. 47 seconds left here in the power play for San Francisco. They really have not been able to do anything. What a save by Laner! Oh my goodness. He just robbed San Francisco. I have follow. Gets over the blue line. Gets it over to Bennett. Shot taken. A rebound. And that one goes wide of the net. Shore picks it back up though. As he stole it away from the defense. Takes another backhander. And Laner easily makes that save in his pads. Sure. Taya follow, but he is pressured in front. He did get the puck back, though. Got it to Hoffman. Another one-timer. And Laner slides over and makes the save again on Shore. You gotta give him credit. I mean, Robin Lehner is just playing spectacular. He's the reason why the Red Wings are still in this game right now. Dylan, one-timer. Oh, the stick broke, but Larkin able to keep it in. Right in front of the net, a shot taken. That is saved off the stick of Holpe. And now Holpe makes a humongous glove save for the Crows. Oh my goodness, you want to talk about putting on a clinic. Both goalies are doing just that right now. And now out come the Crows, Gustafson, into the center ice for Hayes. Hayes getting by his defender. Got the pass off to Prosser and got it right back. Hayes back to Prosser. Now across to Honka who takes a wrist shot. Didn't have a lot of zip on it. And it went right into the stomach of Robin Lehner. We have two minutes and 46 seconds left here on the clock. And it's really been all San Francisco in this second period. They put a lot of pressure on, like right there a shot. And Laner able to get it with his blocker and scoop it up. And now Detroit brings it back the other way. Can they get something off in the last 10 seconds? No, stolen away and Duclair now just brings it over the blue line. Will they take a shot? They do. That goes off a leg and bounced right into the glove of Laner. A dangerous opportunity right at the end of the second period. Time for the second period stats as the San Francisco Crows took over in the shots category. They have 18 to Detroit's 14. They also still lead in hits 6-3. to three. Time on attack. The Red Wings continue to lead 5 minutes and 12 seconds to 4 minutes and 54 seconds of the Crows. And the faceoffs also are in favor of Detroit 11-9. The loyal Detroit fans are still on their feet here. They know that their team can come back. They're only still down by one. It really should be much more because the Crows have peppered Laner with shots, especially in that second period. Filpula looking to the opposite side for a player. Duclair got in the way of that passing lane and now gives it over to Sam Bennett. Bennett takes it away. They score! Sam Bennett with a stick lift right in front of the crease. Laner had no chance. And now it is two to nothing San Francisco. As you can see Dylan just has no chance. Bennett really aggressive on that four check stick lift. And all of a sudden it's two nothing. Helm to Filpula over the blue line. Does a nice little curl away. Here it is out in front of the net. Finally they score. Darren Helm with his second goal of the season. It took a while and it had to be a garbage goal in front of the net. There were a lot of bodies there. Doesn't look like Holpe was able to see it. Just like that, we are back to a one goal game here. And Detroit can come back. It is possible. 
they are very much still in this game. Let's take another look at that beautiful hit by... It was actually Stone that hit Fabry. And that definitely is going to hurt. He might have to put some Icy Hot on that one. Hoffman being pressured. Hall comes in to regain control. Gets it to Burns. Burns with a shot. And that misses the net wide. We have 5 minutes and 40 seconds left as Hoffman gives it to follow. Waits, stutter steps, takes the shot, and it's saved by Laner. Ayafalo gets hooked as he went down into the corner, and the Crows once again are going to go on the power play. Hayes skating as fast as he can back down into the offensive zone. Lazar takes the shot. It was a laser, but it missed the net. Another rebound. It's there in front of the net. Felino did not pass it over to Lazar. He had an opportunity. Now he does. Lazar takes the shot off the crossbar. They still have a chance. It's dangerous right now. Dylan finally gets control of it for the Red Wings and gets it out into the neutral zone to Ayafalo. Ayafalo is checked. It went backwards, and now Brent Burns has to pick it up. Stolen away. Here's a chance as Green has it. He takes the wrist shot. Rebound. He scores. Mike Green comes down after intercepting the puck at the blue line and scores shorthanded on the breakaway, and Detroit has tied this game up 2-2. Two Braden Holpe way out of his net to try to save that and easily gave Green the chance for a second opportunity. Green made no mistake on the empty net. Are we really about to lose this game? It's the Detroit Red Wings! Come on! Pass it forward. One minute left here in the third period of play. We are tied at two. Here's an opportunity. Great defensive play by the Red Wings. Both teams jockeying for control of the puck as Perlini picks up. He gave it away. It's not going to be an offsides. And now it goes back up to Krug. Krug looking back down low. He gives the puck away. And that is going to do it here as we are going to go to overtime. We have played 60 minutes here at the Little Caesars Arena. We are going to overtime. Total shots on net, though, from that third period. San Francisco has 24. Detroit has 20. The hits, San Francisco also leads 12 to 8. And they now have the time on attack total 7 minutes and 20 seconds to Detroit 7 minutes and 1 second. Face-offs, Detroit barely... The face-offs, Detroit barely edges San Francisco 15 to 14. And then, as you can see, the Crows have not been able to capitalize on their two power play opportunities and let Detroit tie the game shorthanded. Here's a chance early. Hall with a weak backhander. Safe. Hall comes in, gives a weak backhander, and Robin Lehner makes that save. Hall, what was that? Brody is checked. Hall grabs that, but Tyler Bertuzzi gets in the way of going any further up the ice. Brody to Bertuzzi. That goes off the stick of Braden Holpe and down low. Out in front, Bertuzzi with another shot and a great save off the leg by Tori Krug. Here's Brody with a chance and he scores! Brody gets the pass, nobody on him and he beats Holpe's pad. The Detroit Red Wings come back in this game and defeat San Francisco 3-2. I don't, I don't even know what to say. That was fucking horrible. If Robin Lehner doesn't get the first star of this game, I will eat this jersey. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. This is autographed. The three stars of the game, all for Detroit. And Efesiu is the third star of the game. He had two assists, no goals, no hits. Robin Lehner, the second star of the game. Very surprising. He had a 1.88 goals against average, 24 saves in the contest, and a .923 save percent average. TJ Brody is the one that's going to be the first star of the game. I should have guessed that because he did get the game winner. One goal and one hit in the game. I am at a loss. I am just at a complete loss. I... The amount of shots they had, the amount of opportunities they had, and they just let him come in all alone and just bury a goal. That puts us at 9, 10, and 3. 
on the season now, and our winning streak of three games is gone. That is going to wrap up this episode here. And even though we lost, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a very entertaining game, especially watching Robin Lehner play. And um, it's it's funny because he's doing the same thing in real life right now in the playoffs. So it's that's true to form. Thank you all for watching. I hope you come back for the fourth video in this series. But until then, my name is Joking Scarecrow with a K, not a C. But I will see you next time.